Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Earlier this year, uh, in one of my uh, first questions as the NDP's agriculture critic, I decided to put this government on the spot regarding uh, the words it says in this House with regards to protecting our supply managed sectors and trying to match those up with its actions. Uh, and I think the premise of my question was that, you know, if the Canada EU Free Trade Agreement, commonly known as CETA, had uh, created a breach in our supply management sectors that the CPTPP threatens to create a wide open breach, to basically blow it wide open. Now I think all honourable members, especially those who have agricultural sectors in their ridings, are quite aware that there are three main pillars to supply management. It's import control, producer pricing and production discipline. And I liken it to a three-legged stool. This stool simply will not stand up if just one of those measures are not kept in control. And so if we look at import controls, if it's weakened, it will have an impact on the other two pillars. Now, CPTPP, uh, we know that certain percentages have been guaranteed uh, of market access to foreign countries, to our supply managed sectors, and people in those sectors are starting to raise the alarm. It's all well and good for the Minister of Agriculture to stand in this house to claim that the Liberal Party was the one that brought in supply management and it's there to defend it. But again, I go back to the earlier point, Mr. Speaker, of actions meeting words. And I think there's a bit of concern on this side of the House and also amongst some of the major players that while the Minister of Agriculture means well in his words, he may not be the one that's fully driving this agenda and that other members of Cabinet are in fact undermining his position. Um, now, if we look at some of the myths that exist out there with supply management, I think uh, the artificial price, artificial pricing and limiting the supply are probably the two biggest myths that are out there. And, you know, I acknowledge that out there in the punditry, this is a bit of a political football. I think that the critics, however, are a bit distant from the consumer, and I think they lack in a holistic view of farming and agriculture today. Um, I am privileged to represent a few farmers in my riding from the supply managed sectors. In fact, uh, the former president of the Dairy Farmers of Canada, Mr. Wally Smith, is a constituent of mine. So I, I know very well the sector. Um, now, if, if you look at pricing, uh, you know, the, 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 the big factor here is, is what happens in the United States. If, if they overproduce a, a quantity, a commodity such as eggs, uh, or underproduce the supply or the prices fluctuate and that's really what causes the major detractions from Canadian price and also in limiting supply. Supply management does not limit supply. It's really all about monitoring the supply and trying to make sure that uh, producers are matching demand. Now don't take my word for it Mr. Speaker. Uh, we just have to look at some of the statistics and in fact what some of the major stakeholders are in fact saying about this government. I'll uh, quote from the Dairy Farmers of Canada, Mr. Pierre Lampron, the President, who said, and I quote, on the one hand, the Canadian government has repeatedly stated that it wants a vibrant, strong and growing dairy sector that creates jobs and fosters investments. But on the other hand, it continues to carve out pieces of our domestic dairy market, first through CETA and now through the CPTPP. The government must understand that in continuing to make these concessions, they are putting the Canadian dairy sector in jeopardy. And Mr. Speaker, it goes across, if you talk to the chicken farmers of Canada, the egg producers and so on, you will find similar quotes. And so what I'm really looking for today is uh, really for this government through the parliamentary secretary uh, to, to really match their words with their actions, or in fact, ma match their actions with their words. So, with that, Mr. Speaker, I'll let the Parliamentary Secretary respond, and I, I hope to hear something good from him. Thank you. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Agriculture. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd like to thank my colleague across the way, with whom I had the fortune to be on a trip last week across the country, looking at our agricultural exports. The government fully understands the importance of the agriculture sector for our economy, our trade, and our jobs. And this is why promoting agri-trade interests is a priority for our government. On average, about half the value of our agricultural production is exported. 
we are the first uh, world exporter of canola flux uh, pulse wild blueberries at among the top three exporters of wheat and pork exports of canadian products have grown about 10 percent a year and budget 2017 has set a goal of 75 billion dollars per year from here between now and 2025 negotiation and the conclusion of agreements free trade agreements will help us to achieve this goal by opening access to new markets and by regulatory cooperation as well as a, an in-depth integration with our trade partners. As well, the maintenance of a uh, supply management system is a priority. Supply management is a system that our producers have chosen for themselves and it's been working for more than 40 years. Producers and processors of milk, poultry and eggs in Canada are essential to the prosperity and the growth of our country besides being an integral part of Canadian agriculture. You know, Mr. Speaker, when I was a young man, I grew up on a dairy farm that had come down from my ancestors. And I remembered when I was seven or eight years old, when we were milking cows, when the, we had these, uh, this milk to sell, and the uh, truck came around, and they could sort of offer the price they wanted, and that's when dairy producers got together to bring in the supply management system. So I really know what I'm talking about. Dairy producers in Canada were able then to thrive in their businesses. Market development and the protection of supply management are not mutually exclusive. Canada is developing new markets worldwide for its products while defending the interests of Canadian industries, including those under supply management. Over the years, Canada has, has signed successful free trade agreements with important trade partners. This message has been made again and again, and it continues to be hammered um, on a, at the negotiating trouble. We want a table. We want an agreement, but not just any agreement. We want to defend our national interests. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Couch and Malahat Langford. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thanks to the Parliamentary Secretary for his words. Uh, you know, I want to repeat, I don't doubt the sincerity of the Minister or the Parliamentary Secretary in defending supply management, but I, I just want to see the, the actions of the Government of Canada uh, matching up those words. And, you know, I don't have much time, but, you know, I just want to leave with this House a, a great statistic from 2015. You know, in the United States, there are 199 egg producers that represent 99% of the overall supply versus 1,014 in Canada, which produce 100%. So if you look at that, Mr. Speaker, and the size differences of our country, the fact that Canada is able to have over a thousand egg producers all thriving because of supply management, I think that speaks to the strength of the system, uh, to how we can keep the small family farm thriving. And uh, the Parliamentary Secretary can be sure that I will be doing my duty as the NDP's agriculture critic in holding his government to account on their words. And I thank him for his words tonight. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd like to congratulate my colleague on his work. And I repeat, we will defend supply management. This has not prevented Canada from coming to various agreements, free trade agreements, or renegotiating them. The supply management system is an integral part of Canadian agriculture, and I can assure you that we will protect it and we will defend it. The government also wants to uh, wants new markets and it wants to promote the interests of our farmers by negotiating new free trade agreements 
and by updating existing agreements. Since trade is essential to the success and competitiveness of uh, agriculture and agri-food in Canada, with respect to trade negotiations, Canada's position has always been to, pro to promote supply management. The government has 